This sign is almost all that's left of the Liberty Street Depot after flames ripped through the building Saturday afternoon. It's definitely, I believe, probably going to go into Plymouth history book that is probably to this date one of the largest fires that Plymouth has seen. And the massive fire isn't out yet. The size of this building and for the water supply that we had, it, it's just going to take a while. It, it could actually smolder for days until we get it dug out and get it taken care of. Between the ruined building and the seven fire departments that were called to put out the fire, Plymouth Fire Chief Rod Miller says the damage will be close to a million dollars. And it doesn't stop there. Firefighters had to spray nearby homes with water so they wouldn't catch fire. Nathan Silva was even forced to evacuate his home. And uh, just a firefighter came up and asked me if I could leave and I left with my sister. And he says it's a good thing he did because judging by the smoke damage inside his home, the fire was pretty hot. You know, black on the, on the walls and stuff like on the siding. Neighbors I talked with say the smoke even got to their groceries. While their groceries may be a lost cause, neighbors say the fire department told them the owner does plan on paying to have their homes cleaned inside and out. Nathan is just happy he and his house are still standing. I'm just glad my house is okay. Yeah, and you're okay. <laughs> yeah, and I'm okay too. <laughs>